Good evening, everybody. It is already 4.30. Um, we had an unexpectedly exciting day. Both of the boys are actually taking naps right now. I have been like full force, like wanting to get our apartment, like totally set, livable, get into like a routine of things. Um, and so I'm tackling laundry now while they are snoozing. Um, I think tonight's going to be low key, but we have a lot of fun things to share. So get ready. Now that is a lot of laundry. I'm going on a quick run today, two miles. So I'll be out a and back. A couple of two, three miles. Two, three. Did you tell them what we did today? I just said it was an exciting day and that we had a lot to share. We bought a minivan today. We bought a minivan. Through Carvana because we're hip in 21st century. It was, we didn't even talk about this, like how nice it was to like not have to like deal with a salesperson or like wait for like the, mm -hmm. the show boating. And I'm a little like, bit like... We didn't test drive it, so I'm like, but the good thing about Carvana is you have seven days. This is not sponsored by Carvana, but they totally <laughs> sound like into the business paid sponsorship. But yeah, so that's like what gave me peace of mind is like, yeah. even though we bought it, we have seven days. They're dropping it off next week. Next Tuesday. It's like, we did a really good job, I think, of like going like in between, like being um, like aware of cost and like yeah. not selling like not getting like all the bells and whistles but getting the bells and whistles that we would actually yeah, use at one point i definitely wanted to buy a 2021 chrysler pacifica pinnacle max loaded with everything and it would cost like 65 70 yeah and it's just like our car we have now is like less than twenty thousand dollars like we just paid it off and like yeah. so anywho that's and we still have the fusion but we're gonna get rid of it yes so I didn't, we didn't living like, in the city it's just yeah. like and we didn't like it I, I went through the carbon like trade-in value but i didn't like it so mm -hmm. we're just gonna sell it that uh, scared me we're gonna sell it outside um and since it's paid off all it is like if we take a month or two or three to sell it it's just the car insurance yep. thing on it. so i'll put in a picture here and the next tuesday and which means a lot of the nightmare. stuff that like we've been living around that we mm -hmm. need to put in storage we now have a great car with stow and go mm -hmm. second and third row stow and go yeah Put it all in there, ship it off to the storage unit. Goodbye. I'm gonna fold laundry. <laughs> You're gonna go suffer. <laughs> Hi, Evers. Oh, hello. Belmont Harbor with almost my favorite kind of weather. Almost. We're getting closer to Chicago Marathon, close enough to start projecting with somewhat accuracy to the weather. And this thinking mid 60s um, to start and when the sun's really up there, it'll be like mid 70s with 30% chance rain at two. Um, should be done by then. Um, but mid 70s in Chicago, as long as there's not a humidity, which Chicago can surprise you sometimes, but it's not looking like it. So it's not actually too far from what we've all been running in here in Chicago. Um, this past week has been cooler. Like today it's 65 and overcast. Um, but I've definitely had some 80 degree, mid 80s and high 80s in the past couple weeks here in Chicago during my run. So I'm not worried about the temperature. It's funny, like running these few years in Florida, I think has got me still, I think I still have my Florida thin blood. It hasn't thickened yet. Probably have to go through this winter to really experience it. But Chicago Marathon sends out emails today saying they're giving it a yellow color advisory, saying it's not optimum marathon running weather. But. Honestly, if you take a Floridian, if you flew up here this Sunday, that would be like primo running for the conditions that he's used to. So hoping that helps me a little. I'm actually not worried. I think it's gonna be really great weather, great conditions. Wouldn't mind sweating a good bout during a marathon. It makes it feel good. It makes it feel extra worth it. Psst. Psst. Hi, who's awake? Oh! You like this pile of laundry? Help yeah. mama fold it. Help me. We're back in the ball pit, kids. 
Hey, are you ready to go to Target in a little bit after dinner, James? <laughs> Throw the ball. You can do it. I know you can. Also, if you've been wondering, I made an appointment to get this taken care of. It was interesting, like, I had the realization I went to go book my hair appointment, like, at the barber, that I didn't know what barber I wanted to go to because I've only gotten my hair cut in Chicago once since we moved back here in February. But that's because I've been going longer between haircuts, and I have gotten two of those haircuts in Florida. Um, but we don't have, well, we're going back for wine and dine, but that's not, I'm not going to have time during wine and dine, and I definitely need to get taken care of before wine and dine. So I made an appointment at a local barber um, Thursday right before race weekend, so I'll be looking fresh for my favorite city's big old race day. Are you gonna come get me? Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> you want them? Oh no. How about you wear them? Are you coming? Oh no. Oh no, she's here. What will you two ever do, baby? I'm almost pumped, more pumped for the minivan for Eve for our road trip to Florida because like we can put the third row stow and go away. It could just be this flat big area for Eve to hang out in, right? You too, Jamesy James. Delicious noodles. I let everybody know that I'm just embracing this wildness because we have an appointment Thursday to get it taken care of. Yeah. We're just having butter noodles and I'm having some soup for dinner. Because we need to grocery shop and meal. Okay. We're going to Target tonight to get a few errands. And I don't know, I think we're just going to like hang out, you know? Maybe walk around the neighborhood. Maybe go get a cup of coffee. Because it's a little cool out tonight, like spring. Like, I smell snow. Spring or fall? Fall. I, sometimes my mind goes too fast. I don't know what it is. But then, like, I mess up pronouns. I mess up everything. Pronouns, adjectives, verbs. It's just clear, like, your mind is going so fast. And my mouth can't move that fast. My dear friend, Lauren, who Sarah hung out with yesterday, gave Sarah this to bring home to me because she knows I love maple stuff and root beer stuff. Not so I'm about to try this craft sort of pop. But it also makes me want to just run to Epcot. Yeah. Do you want a maple cookie from the Epcot? From the Canada Pavilion. James? I don't know. Has he ever had one? James? No. Have you ever had a maple cookie before? Because if not, we have to get one tonight. We'll do the job tonight. Okay, but when are they going to announce that fantastic? I don't know, but we're going to cry for days when they do. Here we go. It smells like classic root beer. I can't wait. Eve's barking at a bowl of soup. Are you ready? It tastes like extra sugary root beer. I don't taste the maple, but it tastes like a really classic, classic, like classic, like root beer float root beer. So we got everything we needed from Target. It was like a mini grocery run. I wouldn't even say that. I, th I would say we got like 90% of what we needed. Because that yeah. Target is a mini Target. Yeah. And they definitely like coming this close to close, like they were restocking. Right. Like there was and no so, like, cucumbers. There was a lot of like, stuff that we were actually missing from them. Right. So it's like, but we did go there like for like Sarah's prenatals because the kind that yeah. she takes usually they sell at Target, but they weren't selling them at that Target. So like right. we tried to make the best of it by getting other groceries. Right. But it's not a good place to get groceries. <laughs> Yeah. So we did, and we did wanted, our best. Like I wanted to go somewhere fun after, but like I feel like with how I'm feeling, I feel like a stick in the mud. Like I don't know. Like I'm not up for like going into the loop. No. Neither am I. No, but stick like in the mud. You're I don't know. Not feeling good. Yet. Well, it was just kind of like more of a productive e day, and like I feel like. I'm gonna go home and watch Batman. We started could doing do that. that earlier. Yeah. I mean, I just like I feel like because I was like inside most of the day like i like to get out and i like yeah. to do stuff and i like i mean at least we're getting fresh air now yeah yeah i suppose you want to walk if you want to go it might be a little crazy with the groceries but do you want to walk past wrigley since we didn't talk about that november 2nd 
we got our email today. November 2nd is when we'll be able to see what's available and be able to purchase Cub season tickets. Ooh, it's a big so, deal. It's a big deal. It's like 10 years in the waiting. Yeah. I think we're like, because of the price of them this year and because of like our family I'm, size and everything. I'm due with this new baby, like May. It's like beginning of the season next year. But we also like, I don't know. We'll see, but like, we're, we're still figuring seats, it out. Yeah. We think. Just a trial this year, rather than because if we don't, we 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 drop off the list after ten years. Right, so we have to do something. We can't bring anybody then. Right, but it's also very expensive to get four Cubs season tickets. We'll see, um, but, but at least it's like happened. it's in the works. Yes, something is happening. Look at this living room chaos from the day. And what did the baby want to do the whole time he was out? He just wanted to come home and play with the wheels on his stroller and push all the little corners and gadgets and gizmos. Yeah, you love that? I know. You love the mechanics of it all. You're so right. That's a, that's a tire. Spin it. Spin it. There you go. Nice. Look at this wild hair when I take my head off. I was just telling Sarah she's putting away the groceries and we're going to like relax and put on a movie. Um, but we still have to like clean up and do dish. I told Sarah, like, this is some days you just have a day like that and it's we're all human everybody's got to do their dishes everybody's got to clean up and go grocery shopping and we have a 11 month old baby and another baby cooking and a little puppy that needs our love so we, we're we're a family that's growing and and we got to do our stuff sometimes so even you know that baby's so cute over there and we're so, like, we are so blessed, like, that I get to be home with them all day, working from home, and that we have a healthy baby and a healthy doggy, and we're healthy, and that's just what we need to focus on some days when you have just, like, you know, a, uh, what I heard in the video the other day, you call these days, not bad days, you call them career, or, uh, character building days. Never say you have a bad day, say you have a character building day, that you're gonna come out at the end of it stronger and more resilient and just like with a better routine maybe, or just a better like an acknowledging of that, of like the blessings in your life kind of a thing. Like this hootin' nanny right here. James. James. Oh gosh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He might make his way to his favorite toy in the house. Uh-oh, a creepy mom's coming around the corner. All right, living room's cleaned up. Dishes are cleaned, bottles are cleaned. Sarah put James down. I have some like ambient music on because I'm about to go just like plan some stuff out. Check this out. Four days, nine hours, 30 minutes, and 27 seconds until the Chicago Marathon. So I'm gonna check out the course and amenities and kind of get a gauge of like where I want to do my my nutrition what water stops I want to make where sh am I going to hopefully see Sarah and James um, but in a nutshell there's where it starts take LaSalle North come on by Lincoln Park Zoo head into my neck of the woods on the north side don't go by Wrigley like you don't go past it but you go near it Go down Broadway, Broadway into Clark, Clark into Sedgwick, back down to Wells, and then when you hit Mon Monroe Street, you kind of duck out and go towards UIC and go through the UIC campus, and Little Italy, and then you go further south there, cut over on Cermak, head back down by 35th to get near Bridgeport, Go by Bronzeville, past the uh, U.S. Cellular Field, where it's guaranteed great now, Kaminsky Park, whatever you want to call it, the White Sox Stadium. And then you run through my original campus, IIT, so that'll be kind of fun. I didn't realize that we're going to go on Indiana Avenue on 35th, so that'll be like a nice little memory lane of my first year of college. Uh, I didn't stay there. I spent one year there. And then back up north. Past McCormick Place, getting feeling vibes around mile 25. ACS is gonna have a huge party there. Continue north to the finish line. Very exciting. And for our third and final 
exciting news or announcement of the vlog. Do you want to say it? Yeah, we had we announced so much today. I know. Um, we're going on a Disney cruise mm -hmm. in January. Okay. Yeah. So if you've been here since 2019, you'd have known that we booked a cruise for After Dopey um, in 2020. A bit of exciting news right here. See this right here? Our friend Steve, who's my running buddy. Who is an addict? He's about to be platinum. He sent this to us before you guys were like. Before we even knew, really. Before you guys would talk every day, like it was just when he would like watch the vlog. Like, we're, we're gonna take that, and we're gonna take this right here, this Disney gift card, and we're about to officially confirm with a down payment our first Disney cruise on the Disney Dream, four night Bahamas. We actually ended up having to cancel that cruise, not because of COVID, but because of our fertility treatments that were happening in February that brought us James. So we had the choice, because Bahamas is still like a Zika, like the CDC still recommends like caution, um, mm -hmm. our fertility clinic, when they heard we were going, they said we cannot let you go. let you go unless you delay treatment for 12 weeks. And so we decided to cancel the cruise. Now this cruise, that cruise, we booked when our first embryo transfer failed, mm -hmm. our first transfer failed. Then we were pumped because I was going to be expecting Sweet Pea. I would have been like six months pregnant with Sweet Pea. And then we lost Sweet Pea. And then we're like, okay, like we're, we're going to go on this it. cruise. We're going to redeem it. This is going to be great. Like right before treatment, it'll be like, oh, relax. And then they told us we had to cancel it. Literally then, seven days before the cruise we canceled. Then, yeah, literally. Like, we were, like, getting ready for it to go. So, this is, like, such a redemption cruise for ourselves. So, it is for January. Mm -hmm. um, and so, it's kind of nice that it, like, falls in that same time frame that we were before. I'll be expecting this new baby. We'll have James. It'll be, like, a whole <laughs> moment. Yep. So, we are excited. And that is happening. It's good to be home. <laughs> it's good to be home. All right, which one are you most excited for out of the three? Uh, everything. Car, Cubs, Cruise? All of them. Three C's. What? We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>